me clap once. You can hear me clap twice. I think y'all can hear me. Jacob, what do we have to sing today? All right. Well, if you were here last week, we sang a new song, at least new for many of you. It's called Give Me Oil in My Lamp. So we're going to sing that again today, maybe try another verse or two. So just remember, the words go like this. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. And then give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Okay? Try that. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. So give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Alright? Give me love in my heart, keep me serving, serving, serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving, serving, serving. Keep me serving till the break of resting. Give me peace in my heart. Keep me resting. Try that. Give me peace in my heart. Keep me resting, resting, resting. Give me peace in my heart, I pray. Give me peace in my heart. Keep me resting, resting, resting. Keep me resting till the break of day. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. so much, Jacob. All right. Can anyone tell me what this is? Yeah. Box, right? What do you do with a box? Yes. You put something in it? Okay. You put something in it, and then if you wanted to mail it like this is, um, you would then send it to someone, right? What would you put in the box? Yeah. A letter. A letter. Okay, you could. Yeah. A gift. A gift. Okay. You could absolutely put a gift in that box. So, I've been to a few different churches, and I've seen a couple do children's message with a box call it the message box. How it works is that each time, each service, someone would put something in the box. And then after the children's message, that box would get sent home with another student. And then they would bring the box back with something in it for the children's message next week. Now, as you can imagine, there's a lot of uh, anxiety that comes from that from my part. Uh, if I were to do a children's message and not know what's in the box, right? But what does that rely on, that form of children's message? What, are, what am I, as the person doing the message, relying on people to do? Yeah. Bring it back. Bring it back, right. Because if I send it off with you one week and then you don't come to church the next week, now we don't have a children's message, right? So I am entrusting that person to take the box and put something in it and bring it back, right? 
It's a lot of trust, right? Don't you think? A little bit? Our gospel lesson today is sort of like that. We have the parable of the talents. Now, talent isn't what you think. What do you think talent is? Anyone? When you hear the word talent, what do you think? Do you think of skills that people have when you say people are talented? Yeah? Well, in the Bible, it means money, right? So, let's say this represents what the master is giving his servants. So he gave one servant 500. He gave the next servant 100. And he gave the third servant 50. And I just now understand those were upside down as I showed you. So, the servants went away with their money, right? Now, the master was entrusting them with his money to then go out and do something with it, right? Kind of like the message box. He's, we're entrusting you to come back with something in it, right? So the first one went out and said, Master, I did so well. I took your 500 and I doubled it. I made it a 1,000. The second one came back and said, I did so well. I took what you gave me and I doubled it and I come back with 200. The third one said, Master, I took your 50 and I went and I buried it. And so now here is your 50 again. So he didn't lose it, but he didn't do anything with it. Now, if someone were to bring the message box back with nothing in it, and they just brought the box, would that be worth anything either? No, it wouldn't. Now, there is one week out of the church year where that is an appropriate children's message. Anyone think of why an empty box would be an appropriate children's message? Jenna? Excellent, the empty tomb, yes. That is the perfect time to use the empty box. But, what does God entrust us with? What do you think? What are some things that we have that God has given us? Has God given you anything? Because the story is actually not necessarily about a real master and real servants, but it's about God and his relationship with us. So, has God given you anything? Has God given you money? You may not have money, but your parents have money. And if your parents have money, it's because they are blessed by the gifts that God has given them, right? How about your clothes? Did God give you your clothes? Well, you may say, Mr. Dave, my parents gave me my clothes. Well, God has blessed your parents with the ability to give you those clothes. In fact, we agree that God made the heavens and the earth, right? So, God made the earth, meaning he made everything on the earth, meaning everything that we make because of the earth is God's. Everything is God's, right? And we are on the earth to be good stewards of it. That's a weird word that I understand, you probably don't know, but a steward is somebody that takes care of something that's not theirs. So we are all called to be stewards of God's creation. So when God gives us gifts, he expects us to be able to use them and to help benefit this world and his kingdom. Make sense? So we don't want to take God's gifts and come back with an empty box, but instead we want to share those gifts. We want to use those in the best way so that we can help further God's kingdom. Can you guys pray with me? Dear Jesus, help us to be good stewards of all the gifts that you have given us. And help us to spread your word across the world. And allow the Holy Spirit to work in the people of the world. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right.
Thank you so much for listening. You will now go to a movie. Yay.